In this tutorial, we'll take a closer look at the margin area, the icons that it contains, and some of its properties. The margin area imitates the markings and notes you might make in the margin of a book, yet in some ways represents a more systematic version of such an activity. As we saw in the tutorial on the Hermeneutic Unit Editor, the margin area can be blended in and out of view manually using the split bar or by using this icon in the vertical toolbar. The work that you do in the margin area can also be printed out alongside your primary documents. To print out your documents with margin, go to File, Output, and select the item Print with Margin. Now let's take a brief look at the different icons that you see in the margin area. Brackets in the margin area indicate quotations at that latitude of your document. Overlapping quotations are shown in different colors only to distinguish between them visually. The small yellow badge-like emblems are symbols for codes. Code names are written in the same color as their corresponding quotation brackets, again for easier reference. As you notice, a single click on the codes or the brackets in the margin area will highlight their corresponding quotations in the document. Comments can be written for both codes and quotations, as well as other object types in Atlas GI. If a quotation contains a comment, this is indicated by a triangle in the upper right-hand corner of its bracket. The names of commented codes are followed by a tilde and a slip of paper is tucked behind their code badges. Double-clicking on a commented code or quotation bracket will cause its comment to appear. Click inside the comment to edit or revise its contents. Two other icons appearing in the margin area are memos and hyperlinks. As you're no doubt noticing, the main property of the margin area is its interactivity. Memos behave similarly to comments. A double-click will cause a memo's contents to appear in the margin area, and clicking inside of this text field will open up the memo for editing. Hyperlinks are like digital threads that let you connect and navigate between different segments, between and within your documents, and to specify their relationship. This text segment, or data segment, is linked to another segment in a different document. Double-clicking on it, on the hyperlink, will show me the contents of that segment. And as you can see, clicking on that text will transport me to the partner link in its context. Right-clicking on all of the elements in the margin will open up a context menu. And margin objects can also be shown selectively. Right-click on the margin background and a general context menu will appear, allowing you to select the objects which you would like to display, for example, only codes, and to change their appearance, for example, by enlarging the font. Some more options for tailoring your own margin area can be found under General Preferences in the Margin tab.